and welcome back to my channel. I am so happy you're here or welcome if you are new. I am Julia. I am a content creator. I do social media marketing consulting for businesses and for individuals who have their own businesses but just want to figure out how to show up more online. And I love making videos about lifestyle, business, fashion, life in Buffalo. So thanks for being here. I am so excited for today's video because today I want to show you guys my winter shoe collection. I've gotten a few comments from you guys saying that you want to see my shoe collection and by I've gotten some comments from you guys There's one or two people who have commented on two of my different videos saying that they would love to see a shoe collection And I was like, "Ooh, that's a cool idea But rather than show you every single shoe that I own because that would take a lot of time That would be very in-depth and I'm not gonna do that unless you tell me you want to So if you want to see that put it in the comments and I will do it So I figured though to tease into it to kind of like to dip my toes into that I would do a winter shoe collection video. So let's dive into it. Okay, starting off our winter shoe collection. And I'm gonna preface this to say, the shoes that I'm gonna show you are all not heeled shoes. So I will say there are a few pairs of booties that I have in the closet that I would kind of consider as winter shoes because I will wear them sometimes in the winter, but they have heels and they aren't like the shoes that I kind of keep out as my winter shoe collection, if that makes any sense at all. That might not make sense at all, so. If it doesn't make sense and you guys are like, wait, we wanna see all of the boots and the booties? Let me know because again, I'm happy to do another video sharing those but for this I'm just gonna focus on what I kind of consider to be the winter ish shoes that I have meaning they are shoes that I can wear out when it's raining when it's kind of snowy a little bit gross and I'm not as concerned about it so what I will also say let me preface there are three pairs of the one two three four five six seven eight we have eight total pairs and there are three pairs that are definitely more fall slash early winter shoes that I would never wear in like snow or anything like that. So I'm gonna start with those three pairs and then get into the other pairs that are a little bit more durable. Starting off, pair number one are these black combat boots. As you can see, these are very, very worn in. These are a classic shoe. I will wear these at the start of winter, but not in the snow because I'm always worried that they're going to get ruined. These shoes are so old. When I tell you that I've had these for, I've had these shoes for at least seven years. I think they're like eight or nine years old and they are from Dolce Vita and they're super cute. They're just like a little black mini combat boot. I love the gold buckles here. Love the little zip and I'm not gonna try on every single one of the shoes, but this goes to like kind of the yeah, like the mid shin length It's just a great classic little combat boot super super comfy really really good quality I mean literally I've had these for eight plus years and the only thing that has worn you can see the bottom of the heel has worn but it's not even that bad so these are an incredible investment shoe these have been worth every single penny that I spent on them so many years ago so that's shoe number one shoe number two is another dusty shoe that has just been sitting there and these are a these are Cole Haan and these are a this classic tall leather riding boot. Let me dust them off again. This Cole Haan riding boot is amazing. I love the black line down the side. We've got a little silver buckle on the bottom, goes across the entire kind of ankle strap. They are a full zip up boot, which I absolutely love. I love that they zip all the way from the bottom all the way to the top. They are incredible, incredible quality. Again, I have also had these for nine or even 10 years. They are in exceptional condition. Again, you can't even actually see much wear on the bottom heel of them. I do take really good care of my stuff, so I can credit myself with that. But again, I also just have to credit like Cole Haan as a brand. These shoes are really, really well made. So these are are a great classic shoe for the end of the fall. Everyone loves a good black leather riding boot. And then the third shoe 
of my shoe collection that is definitely more for like the fall. I would never wear these in the snow are are these incredible tall white cowboy boots that I got from Amazon. These are amazing. They are so freaking cute. I will be honest, I bought these in the summer and I have not worn these yet. I've styled them for a super cute outfit that I took pictures in, but I haven't worn them out yet. So I'm like so, so eager for Matt and I to take a trip to a warm weather place so that I can wear these with a little dress or shorts. I just think they're so cute, but also I feel like you can wear these in fall. With like blue jeans and a white sweater, it would look super cute. As you can see here, we've got the quintessential like cowboy boot look, right? We've got the line all the way down that comes up at the top on this one side. You also have the, let's see, you can see in the camera here, like the design on them. Yeah, there you can kind of see it. And little wooden heel. I love this. It's like a half zip. So the concept, you stick your leg into the boot, and then because it's here, you can like pull your pants or whatever down and then zip it back up. They're just so cute. I absolutely love these shoes. They're so comfortable also. Like I was not expecting them to be as comfortable as they are. So I just can't wait. I need some good weather so that I can bust these out because I have like five different outfits in mind to wear these with. Let me get into the last five pairs of shoes. The next pair of shoes is just a simple pair of rain. Everyone needs a good pair of rain boots for the fall and the winter. Especially if you live in Buffalo or a cold weather city, you need a good pair of rain boots. These? I'm trying to find the brand. find the brand. <laughs> These might be a Target find. As I look, I, I honestly don't know. I literally don't know. I can't find a brand anywhere. So just a solid good pair of black rain boots. You can't go wrong with these. This is a great thing to have in your closet for the rainy season, especially for spring as well. These get a ton of use in my closet. Moving right along into another Target shoe. These are my Target imitation Doc Martens. So these are like Doc Martens, but they're not actually Doc Martens. They are a good tall chunky boot and I absolutely love these for the fall and the winter I wear these all of the time they have a nice heel to them which I really like because it gives me a little bit of height as someone who's a little bit shorter being 5'3 I like that it gives me a little bit of height I feel like it really makes my legs look slimmer because of the heel they also are incredibly comfortable I was so surprised by how comfortable these were from Target I love that they have the lace up, but they are a full zip on the side, which is a game changer because I'm gonna show you a pair of real Doc Martens that I have that don't have the zip on the side. They are exclusively lace up. And while they're such a cute shoe and I love them, they are so much harder to put on than these. This side zip is essential. It is super, super helpful. So these are a great shoe and I got these because I wasn't sure whether I would wear them a lot and or like the style of them. So I was like, you know what, let me get these. I was thinking about getting Doc Martens and I was like, before I just invest in a pair of Doc Martens, let me see how often I wear them, how much I like the look of them and the feel of them. And I was obsessed. I was wearing them all the time, which then led me to get my first pair of real Doc Martens. Look at how beautiful these are. Matt got these for me for Christmas last year and how freaking cute are they? White Doc Martens and like I said, they don't have a zipper or anything on the side. To get these on, you just gotta literally shove your foot into them. They are so, 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 so cute. And I tell you guys that these are like probably the cutest shoes that I have. I mean, aside from those white cowboy boots and aside from the Betsy Johnson sparkly cowboy boots that I have that I wore for my 1989 party, which if you saw that vlog, I'll put it up here. I'm obsessed with those. Those are definitely my favorite and the cutest shoes that I have, but these for winter? These are definitely the cutest winter shoe. That I have. I'm gonna drop the camera down so that you guys can see these just from like another angle. I haven't been showing any of the shoes like that, but these are just, they're so cute. I want you to see. I only put one of the shoes on. 
<laughs> like it looks so cute with black pants you guys oh it's just so 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 good i love them because I had gotten those white Doc Martens and absolutely loved them, thought that they were such good quality and was starting to wear them a lot, I was like, you know what else I would really benefit from would be a Chelsea boot. And rather than get a cheap one from Target or something like that, I was like, I'm gonna go the Doc Martin route because the quality is just so, so good. Like last year I was wearing those white Docs in the snow in nasty weather and it's just as simple as like wiping them off and dirt, everything just comes off them. They're waterproof, they're just such good quality. Quality. And so I realized it's absolutely worth investing in quality footwear if you live in a winter weather city. And so I ended up getting these Doc Martin Chelsea boots and they are so freaking cute. These are also the airwear style. And you can see they have the same bottom as the other Docs. That yellow bottom, super grippy just like perfect in wet snowy weather and these are just they're amazing they're super comfortable they're super sleek again they're so easy to clean they don't get stained or dirty because they're just a really really good quality leather and i just love this style of this boot too it's a classic you can wear this with so many different kinds of pants it just looks really cute because it's really simple and classic you can dress it up you can dress it down super easy to put on with all the docks you kind of just grab like you put your finger in this back thing here so that when you're putting it on you can just kind of lift the back of the shoe up to really get your foot securely in there getting doc martens on is not the easiest thing but oh my god they are such a good shoe these are worth every penny i have worn these so much and they literally look like they're brand new these are such a good shoe i absolutely love my doc chelsea boots and so these are the second to last boot in the winter shoe collection. So the final shoe that I'm showing you, I did not save the best for last. My two docks were the were saving the best for last. But these are probably the most used shoe that I wear all throughout the winter. I used to have a tall pair of Sorels. I sold those on Poshmark because I hardly ever wore them, found them to be super uncomfortable. But these short Sorel booties are so freaking comfortable. I absolutely love them. I honestly like the yellow color. I will say at this point they're so old and dirty that I would never pick this color again but I am like a yellow girly so I can appreciate the mustard color. It's not that I think that this shoe is cute or stylish by any means but it is extremely functional. The bottom is super tough. It is really good and grippy. They're a really good quality. I have had these booties for I think six years now. You can see I've got two little stripes. It's like a suede kind of a material. This is, a, so it's suede with like a rubber sole. Lace up and then there's fur on the inside and then obviously a little bit of fur at the top. And then you can see obviously the Sorel right here. They go to, again, about the mid shin. These are so worn in to the shape of my foot at this point. They are so comfortable. They are such a comfortable booty because they've been so worn in. And the, this kind of a shoe is definitely another, I need to get another pair of these kinds of shoes. Because what I will say is they're just, they're so worn in and so old that I do feel like sometimes if I'm out in the snow for too long, like my feet get so, so cold that they almost start to feel wet. And it's not to say that I think that like there's water seeping in through the boot, but I don't know if you live in a winter city and you spend hours outside, you probably can relate to that. So actually let me know in the comments if you can like relate to like the, the wet feet after a number of hours thing. I don't know what it is. So I do feel like I need another boot like that because if I spend a whole bunch of time outside and then come home and take those off, the last thing I want to do is put them back on shortly after if I have to go out again to have a replacement booty that I could just wear instead of those would be chef's kiss like ideal for me but that's something for another day that is something for me to definitely invest in probably i would say at the end of the season when there are crazy winter sales i am very likely going to buy myself a new winter jacket and some new winter boots i'm not going to get them now because price is peak for all of those things throughout the winter and what i have works well enough to last me through this season but you guys know i'm very financially savvy when it comes to shopping so i always am mindful for big purchases like boots or winter 
winter jackets and stuff, things that you're gonna buy once and it's gonna last you for five to seven years. Those are higher ticket items, especially if you're gonna invest in quality, which I do because I want it to last me for years. So I will mindfully wait until those things are on sale because they're out of season and I will buy them then. So you bet I'm gonna be getting myself a nice Patagonia jacket as soon as spring comes and they wanna just clear out their winter inventory. So I highly recommend if you need new winter stuff. If you can, don't get it now. Obviously, if you need it, if it is a real need because you don't have it and you are seeing the lack of not having that thing in your life every day, you should go out and get it. But if you don't need it, it's just something that would be nice to have. I really recommend wait until the end of the season when those things are on sale and then get them at a discount. And you'll be so happy and it'll almost feel like you're giving yourself a gift at the start of the next season because you're not going to wear them during the off season. So it'll be fun to start that next season with something new and fresh. And it'll feel like a free item because you bought it so many months ago that at that point it'll be a sunk cost. So anyway, those are my rambles about shoes and boots. I really enjoyed showing you guys my winter shoe collection. If you guys like this video, hit the thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this, if you want to see all of my shoes, if you want to just see all my boots, let me know. If you want to do like all, just all my sneakers. I could do so many different variations of this kind of video. I could do all my sweaters, all my pants. So if you like this as a concept, please let me know in the comments and I'll be sure to add it to the list to make more of these kinds of videos for you guys and I will see you guys soon. Oh my god, this pair of shoes is so dusty. Please don't judge me. Please don't judge me. They've just been they've been sitting in the closet collecting dust. I'm gonna need to run a vacuum in here after because I'm just brushing all the dust off. But hold on, wait, where's my phone? I feel like my phone might be going off right now. Hold on. Thank you.